What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Unknown Codings channel. And got another wheel vid, but this one is with some classics, like legit classics, like too old. Um, these are some wire wheels, full steel wire wheels. Uh, as far as I can tell, these don't appear as though they would come apart again. These are all welded in place, sort of. I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain, but um, here they are all blasted and taped up. They have... A really big valve stem hole, which is normally how I hang wheels, obviously. And I try to not do it on steel wheels, so we ended up just running wire around the outside of these. Um, hitting them first. I mean, these are super corroded. I mean, the pitting in them is terrible, terrible. So after blasting even, they still look bad. Um, hitting them with a good heavy coat of Tiger's Dry Protect Primer. Um, I want to say, I think I start showing my gun settings in most of the videos from now on. I don't remember if I do it in this one or not. But as you can see, it's an aggressive amount of powder. Like I'm throwing powder at this thing. Um, you know, the Wagner booth scooping it all up for me, which I appreciate. Um, we taped off the drum brake area. I think that's what it is. Uh, the customer actually didn't request that, but it, it we tape it off every other time because every other customer has requested it. So we think this customer maybe just forgot about it. Um, as I start throwing more and more primer on these, there's actually five of them and, uh, you might've been able to tell at the very beginning, but <clears throat> the corrosion on these is insane. So they're not going to be perfect when they come out. Uh, the customer understands obviously with the age of them, they're not going to be perfect. Uh, if you can look at the original thumbnail of this video is probably a reference to Oregon trail. I don't know how many people are going to get that. Remember that original game, but if you're old like me, you definitely played the original Oregon trail game. Uh, it was a classic. Anyways, working through all these, uh, like always, if you like powder coating or powder coating material, I guess, um, be sure to hit that like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, turn on all notifications so you get a heads up when we post new videos, uh, and leave a comment. Uh, anything we can do to put these videos in front of more viewers, uh, you know, comments, likes, uh, subscriptions, all that stuff, definitely puts these videos in front of more people, uh, probably more powder coders just like you, since it seems like most of the people who watch my videos are powder coders. Now, you might be able to tell I'm a little behind on videos and I sound terrible. It's because I've been sick. Um, I've been trying to work it out so that I slept enough that I got better and it hasn't been working. So there'll be a ton of videos coming up. Um, got the Dry protect through the oven and cured. Well, as much as you cure primer, of course. And this is now Cardinal. I think this is RDO 3 or RDO, RDO 1. I honestly don't remember now. They're both gloss reds. So throwing a nice, once again, a uh, nice heavy coat. So we're doing uh, two coats of red. And I've been getting a lot of questions lately about what colors I do to coat. And I think I'm going to have to make a video kind of explaining why I two coat certain colors. Cause there are some colors I do and you know, most colors I do not, uh, on a project like this, where you have a ton of corrosion and a ton of pitting that you're trying to cover up, uh, doing two coats is obviously going to help you out. Cause it's working a little bit to fill those imperfections caused by the corrosion. Um, but there's more to it than that. Uh, certain colors don't look good when it's only one coat and thus you can put one big heavy coat onto them, but I, there's a lot of risk involved in that. In my opinion, you get, you know, framing or edge building. Um, you could even get like a sag or a run depending on the type of color. We're doing the two color or two coat process where you put some on, uh, flow it out just a little bit, pull it out, let it cool, and then spray another coat on. Tends to not have any of those problems associated with it. So you'll see me do that through this process quite a bit um, and on this channel quite a bit. Like I said, I, I think I'll have to make a video kind of explaining why I do it and why I don't do it. So you guys can have a little better understanding at least because uh, it's definitely been a, a major topic in my comment sections lately. So this is after the red is applied before it goes through the oven. Um, oh yeah, here's my new mask from Parcel. Uh, I'll have more details about that coming up. I've had a bunch of questions about it. So put it in the oven, let it flow out a bit. Uh, oh yeah, now you can see my settings for the... Well, this is technically the third coat, the second coat of the red color. Um, and once again, I'm dumping this powder on uh it's not crazy excessive i mean i'm sure you guys have seen these guns turned up can get pretty wild but this is a pretty heavy coat of powder 
ultimately, especially being that it is the second one on these particular wheels. I admit that this video is probably a little bit rushed um, and not like super intriguing necessarily. I'm trying to get back on the whole video everyday thing and I have some really cool videos coming up. It's require a little bit more editing. I, like I said, I've been trying to sleep as much as possible as to not be sick. So this one will be up tonight. Uh, I got a pretty cool video tomorrow with black chrome coming up. And then I actually have another one with custom mixed illusion colors. It goes into a little bit of detail about uh, what you can and can't mix. Um, also, I'm trying to figure out which days are going to be best for doing lives for you guys, uh, the live Q&As. I'm going to do at least one of those uh, here this month, uh, and then I'm going to try to get into doing them once a week after that. Um, so if you guys have an opinion on what days uh, would be best to do live Q&As, I'm going to be doing them in the evening, of course, probably... I would guess like 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So whatever time that is where you are. So in the comment section, let me know what day would be best to you guys uh, for, or for me to get in front of you guys and be able to answer some of your guys' questions. All right, guys, and here those wheels are completely finished out of the oven. Uh, actually came out a lot better than I expected. Like I said, the corrosion on them was pretty horrendous, but the nice, good, heavy three coats definitely left these things looking, you know, significantly better. Uh, you can still see a bit of the pitting on them if you look up close, but leaps and bounds better. Uh, customers already picked them up, was completely stoked on them. Um, you can see here after I pulled the tape off, this is all like the drum area I was talking about. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.